Hello dear students and welcome to this new revision lesson in the series of English lessons on the Honor Rasa Delight TV channel. أهلا وسهلا بكم أعزائي الطلاب في درس المراجعة في سلسلة دروس اللغة الإنجليزية على قناة الأونور والفضائية. Welcome back. Today, dear students, we are going to handle a revision lesson. Today, we are going to have a revision lesson. And this revision lesson simulates the final exam. يحاكي هذا الدرس. نظام الامتحان النهائي. The first skill in the final exam is the listening skill. Now, let's have the listening skill. The first activity we have, listen and tick true or false. Now, dear students, you are going to listen to a short paragraph, then you are going to answer some questions upon this paragraph. Hebron is well known for its beautiful glass vases. The glass blowing was invented several thousand years ago. In the past, glass was made from sand and soda ash. Nowadays, it's made from old bottles and broken glass. Dear students, let's listen to the paragraph again in order to answer the questions. لنستمع مرة أخرى إلى هذه الفقرة لكي نجيب عن الأسئلة. Hebron is well known for its beautiful glass vases. Glass blowing was invented several thousand years ago. In the past, Glass was made from sand and soda ash. Nowadays, it's made from old bottles and broken glass. Now, dear students, after we have listened to this short paragraph, let's answer some questions. Here, listen and take true or false. Number one, Gaza is well known for its beautiful glass vases. Again, Gaza is well known for its beautiful glass vases. What do you think? Excellent, thank you very much. This is incorrect. Why? Because Hebron is well known for its beautiful glass vases, not Gaza. Two, glass blowing was invented few years ago. Glass blowing was invented few years ago. What do you think? Excellent, thank you very much. This sentence is incorrect as well. هذه الجملة خاطئة أيضا. Why? Because glass blowing was invented several thousand years ago, not a few, several thousand years ago. اختراع نفخ الزجاج قبل آلاف السنين ليس قبل قليل من السنين. Okay, number three. In the past, glass blowing was made from sand and soda ash. Nowadays, it's made from recycled glass. Again, in the past, glass was made from sand and soda ash. Nowadays, it's made from recycled glass. What do you think? في الماضي كان يصنع الزجاج من الرمل ومن الصودا. أما اليوم فيصنع من الزجاج المكرر. Excellent. Thank you very much. It's true. All right, dear students. Now let's turn to another exercise, which is listen and choose. Listen and choose. Number one. In the past, glass was made from old bottles. And glass. Is it broken glass, blue glass, or brown glass? Again, in the past, glass was made from old bottles and glass. Thank you very much. Excellent. And broken glass. So, dear students, it was made from broken glass. Number two, Hebron is well known for its beautiful glass jugs, cups, or vases. Again, Hebron is well known for its beautiful glass, jugs, cups, or vases. Marvelous. Thank you very much. Hebron is well known for its beautiful glass, vases. تشتهر الخليل بفازاتها الزجاجية الجميلة. Now, dear students, after we have listened to the short paragraph and we answered these questions, now let's move to another skill, which is the speaking skill. مهارة التحدث. Number one, match A with B. صل لعمود ألف بما يناسبه من العمود باء. Look here. In column A, في العمود A, one, what's your favorite food? Again, what's your favorite food? 
2. What nationality are you? 3. How is your father? 4. Do you like birds? In column B, he is well. Fish? Yes, I do. Palestinian. Now, dear students, we are going to match from column A to column B. Number one, what's your favorite food? Here, he's well, or fish, or yes I do, or Palestinian. Excellent, thank you very much. Here, what's your favorite food? The answer is fish. Two, what nationality are you? What nationality are you? Here, he's well, or yes I do, or Palestinian. Excellent, here, Palestinian. So, what nationality are you? Palestinian. Three, how is your father? How is your father? Excellent. He is well. He is well. Four, the last one. Do you like birds? Do you like birds? Here the answer is, yes, I do. Let's read them again. What's your favorite food? Here the answer is fish. What nationality are you? Palestinian. How is your father? He's well. Do you like birds? Yes, I do. All right, dear residents, let's move to another exercise, which is complete the following dialogue. Complete the following dialogue. أكمل الحوار التالي. Look here. Here we have a dialogue between Ali and Omar. لدينا حوار بين علي وعمر. Let's see here. Ali says, good morning. Good morning who? He's talking to Omar. So here, good morning, Omar. Omar says, space, Ali. When somebody says good morning to you, what do you say? Here, good morning, Omar. Excellent. Good morning, Ali. Ali, do you like animals? Do you like animals? Omar, yes, I. Here, because the question started with do, لأن السؤال بدأ الفعل المساعد do the answer should end with do as well so here yes I do why do because the question started with do all right Ali what's your favorite what's your favorite Omar my favorite animal is my favorite animal so here Ali asks about the favorite animal so here Ali says asks What's your favorite animal? Omar, my favorite animal is, for example, horse. My favorite animal is horse. Ali says, Omar, Omar, goodbye. Here, because Omar said goodbye, Ali should have said goodbye, Omar. So, goodbye, Omar, goodbye, Ali. All right, dear students, now let's read the dialogue again. Ali, good morning, Omar. Omar, good morning, Ali. Ali, do you like animals? Omar, yes, I do. Ali, what's your favorite animal? Omar, my favorite animal is horse. Ali, goodbye, Omar. Omar, goodbye, Ali. Okay, dear students, now let's have this short break. Then after the break, we continue our activities in the revision lesson. A short break, then we get back. Welcome back. Now, dear students, let's move to another skill, which is the reading skill. Maharit al qiraa Look here, read the following passage, then answer the questions below. Again, read the following passage, then answer the questions below. All right, look at this passage. Let's read the passage together in order to answer the questions. Palestinian embroidery was found 4,000 years ago. Village women used to talk and embroider dresses after work. Each village had its own design. Embroidery skills were passed from mother to daughter. The dresses are big with a head cover. Arms are large like wings. 
Now, dear students, let's read this passage again in order to answer the questions. لنقرأ هذه الفقرة مرة أخرى لكي نجيب عن الأسئلة التي تليها. Palestinian embroidery was found 4,000 years ago. Village women used to talk and embroider dresses after work. Each village had its own design. Embroidery skills were passed from mother to daughter. The dresses are big with a head cover. Arms are large like wings. Now, dear students, after we have read this passage, let's move to have some exercises. Exercise A, choose the correct answer. Choose the correct answer. اختر الإجابة الصحيحة. Number one, Palestinian embroidery was found years ago. Is it 400, 4,000, or 40? Again, Palestinian embroidery was found years ago. Is it 400, 4,000, or 40? Thank you very much. Excellent. 4,000 years ago. وجد التطريز الفلسطيني قبل 4,000 عام. Two, women used to talk and embroider dresses after work. City women, town women, or village women? Excellent, thank you very much here. Village women used to talk and embroider dresses after work. نساء القرية اعتدنا على التحدث والتطريز بعد العمل. Number three. Embroidery skills were passed from... Embroidery skills were passed from... Is it from mother to daughter? From daughter to mother? Or from daughter to daughter? What do you think? Excellent, thank you very much here. From mother to daughter. So, embroidery skills were passed from mother to daughter. انتقلت مهارات التطريز من الأم إلى البنت. Alright, let's have another exercise which is answer the following questions. أجب عن الأسئلة التالية. Number one, how old is the Palestinian embroidery? How old is the Palestinian embroidery? According to the passage we read, وفقا للقطعة التي قرأناها, we found that here, Palestinian embroidery was found 4,000 years ago. Again, Palestinian embroidery was found 4,000 years ago. So, return to the question. How old is the Palestinian embroidery? Excellent, thank you very much. Here, 4,000 years old. It's 4,000 years old. Okay, two. What did village women use to do after work? Again, what did village women use to do after work? على ماذا اعتدنا نساء القرية بعد العمل؟ In the passage we have, village women used to talk and embroider dresses after work. Again, village women used to talk and embroider dresses after work. So here, the question, what did the village women used to do after work? Its answer is, talk and embroider dresses. اعتدنا على التحدث وتطريز الفساتين. All right. Now another exercise which is find from the passage. جد من القطعة. استخرج من القطعة. Here, number one, the opposite of. The opposite of. عكس الكلمات التالية. The opposite of lost. Lost. We said that Palestinian embroidery was found 4,000 years ago. So the opposite of lost is found. Lost, found. The opposite of a small. Small. When we describe the dress, when we describe the dress, we said that the dress is big. Also, we said that the arms are large like wings. So here, the opposite of a small is big or large. Okay, two, the meaning of. The meaning of. معنى الكلمة التالية. The meaning of a speak. Speak يتحدث يتكلم. We said that village women used to talk and embroider dresses after work. So here the synonym or the meaning of a speak is talk. Speak means the same like talk. Now let's read them again. The opposite of lost is found. The opposite of lost is found. The opposite of a small 
is big. The meaning of speak is talk. Let's handle number three, a nationality. Get it from the text, a nationality. Here we have Palestinian. You see that? Palestinian embroidery. All right. Four, a word rhymes with sound. A word rhymes with sound. كلمات تتناغم في الصوت لها نفس النغم الموسيقي مع كلمة sound. Sound rhymes with found. Sound found. Number five. Put a suitable title. Put a suitable title. ضع عنوانا مناسبا للقطعة. The passage we read was talking about the Palestinian embroidery. So it's embroidery. The title is embroidery. All right, dear students, now let's move to another different exercise, which is classify the following. Classify the following. صنف الكلمات التالية. Let's first read these words. لنقرأ هذه الكلمات أولا. Here we have red, Jordan, English, blue, Egypt, and Arabic. Here we have countries, colors, and languages. Countries, dual, colors, alwan, languages, lugat. Let's first handle the countries. What countries do we have here? Red, Jordan, English, blue, Egypt, and Arabic. Excellent, thank you very much. Here we have Jordan. Also we have Egypt, the countries, Jordan and Egypt. What about the colors, Al-Alwan? We have blue and red. In the colors, we have blue and red. What about the languages? In the languages, we have English and Arabic. So, again, the countries, Jordan and Egypt. The countries, Jordan and Egypt. For the colors, we have blue and red. What languages we have English and Arabic. All right, dear students, thank you very much for answering this exercise. Now let's have another short break. Then after the break, we continue our activities for this lesson. A short break, then we get back. فاصل قصير ونعود. Welcome back. Now, dear students, let's move to the writing skill. لننتقل إلى مهارة الكتابة. Fill in the spaces with words from the list. Fill in the spaces with words from the list. All right. Here, let's read the words in the list. لنقرأ الكلمات التي في القائمة. Man-made, reduce, global, and well-known. Again, man-made, من صنع الإنسان. Reduce, يقلل أو يقلص. Global, عالمي. Well-known, مشهور أو معروف. Number one, space, warming is a dangerous problem. Again, warming is a dangerous problem. What word suits this sentence? أي كلمة تناسب هذه الجملة؟ Excellent, thank you very much. Here we have global warming. Global warming. الاحتباس الحراري هو مشكلة خطيرة. Global warming. Number two, Hebron is for its beautiful glass vases. Hebron is for its beautiful glass vases. Of course, here, Hebron is well known for its beautiful glass vases. تشتهر الخليل بفازاتها الزجاجية الجميلة. Okay. Three. Pollution is. Pollution is. التلوث هو. Excellent. It's man-made من صنع الإنسان. So here, pollution is man-made. Pollution is man-made. Number four. To means to use less. To means to use less. ثاني أن تستخدم بشكل أقل. Excellent. Here, to reduce, to reduce means to use less. The word reduce means to use less. Thank you very much, dear students, for answering this exercise. Now let's move. 
to another exercise which is complete the paragraph using the information in the table. Our exercise here, complete the paragraph using the information in the table. أكمل الفقرة مستخدما المعلومات الموجودة في الجدول. Here the information we have the name Ahmed, age 14, grade 7, favorite subjects English and math, sport tennis. Again the name is Ahmed, age 14, grade 7, favorite subjects English and Arabic, and sport is tennis. Now let's look at the paragraph. My name is my name is, what is the name here? My name is, excellent, my name is Ahmed. Here, I'm years old. How old is he? Here the age is 14. So, I'm 14 years old. I'm 14 years old. And I'm in a grade, and I'm in a grade. Let's look at the table of information. In grade what? I'm in a grade 7. Excellent. And I'm in grade 7. My favorite subjects are... And here, the favorite subjects are English and math. So here, my favorite subjects are English and math. Again, my favorite subjects are English and math. Here, in the favorite subjects, we have English and math. Okay. I like to play after school. I like to play after school. To play what? Look at the sport there. To play tennis. Excellent. Here. I like to play tennis after school. Now, dear students, let's read the paragraph again. My name is Ahmed. I'm 14 years old and I'm in grade 7. My favorite subjects are English and math. I like to play tennis after school. All right, dear students, thank you very much for answering this exercise. Now, dear students, let's move to another exercise, which is punctuate the following. استخدم علامات الترقيم فيما يلي. Okay, here, number one, have you ever been to Jerusalem? Let's look deeply in this sentence. Look here at the beginning of the question. Have, have you ever been to Jerusalem? Jerusalem here is a name of a city. And here we have a question. Let's look at the punctuated question. Here, have you ever been to Jerusalem? What do you see here? Of course, here have is capitalized. The H letter in have is capitalized. حرف ال H في بداية كلمة have وضع بالcapital letter. لماذا؟ لأنها بداية السؤال. Here, Jerusalem. The J letter in Jerusalem is also capitalized. Why? Because the names of cities and countries are always capitalized. And what do you see at the last of the question? Here we have a question mark. وضعنا علامة سؤال. Why have we put a question mark? Because here we have a question. Let's look at number two. Gaza, Rafah, and Nablus are cities. Again, Gaza, Rafah, and Nablus are cities. Here, what do you think here? Gaza is a name of a city. Rafah is a name of a city. Nablus is a name of a city as well. Here we have sentence or a question. Of course, this is a sentence. Now, dear students, let's look at the punctuated sentence. لننظر إلى الجملة المرقمة. Here, Gaza, comma, Rafah and Nablus are cities. What do you see here? Gaza, Rafah and Nablus are names of cities. هؤلاء أسماء مدن. So that we have capitalized the initials of these words. استخدمنا الحرف المكبر في بداية هذه الكلمات لأنها أسماء مدن. Also here, Gaza, Rafah, and Nablus, here we have a list of names. لدينا قائمة من الأسماء. We can't say Gaza and Rafah and Nablus. Here we say Gaza, comma, Rafah and Nablus are cities. Here we have a sentence. What do we use at the end of a sentence? ماذا نستخدم في نهاية الجملة? We use a full stop, as you see. So let's read the sentence for the last time. Gaza, comma, Rafah and Nablus are cities. All right, dear students, thanks a lot for answering this exercise. Now, the structure part. The structure part. Choose the correct answer. اختار الإجابة الصحيحة. Number one. Chairs are of what? Chairs are of what? 
Is it chairs are made, chairs are making, or chairs are make? Excellent. Thank you very much. Here, chairs are made of what? Again, chairs are made of what? Two. I like meat. I don't like fish. Again, I like meat. I don't like fish. Look here. I like meat because I don't like fish. Or I like meat so I don't like fish. Or I like meat but I don't like fish. What do you think? Excellent. Thank you very much. Here, but. Why but? Here we have two opposite or different ideas in one sentence. So that we used but. Let's move to number three. Here. You smoke in hospitals. You smoke in hospitals. The options, you must smoke in hospitals, or you shouldn't smoke in hospitals, or you mustn't smoke in hospitals. What do you think? Thank you very much. Excellent. Here, you mustn't smoke in hospitals. You mustn't smoke in hospitals. Why mustn't here? لماذا استخدمنا mustn't? Here we have obligation. لدينا إجبار على عدم التدخين في المشفى. Number four. I saw the man saved my life. I saw the man saved my life. Here. I saw the man who? The man which? Or the man when? Excellent. Thank you very much. Here I saw the man who saved my life. I saw the man who saved my life. Why have we chosen who? Because with people, like man, we use who. But with animals and things, we use which. So here the sentence, I saw the man who saved my life. رأيت الرجل الذي أنقذ حياتي. All right. Odd one out. Odd one out. استخرج الكلمة الشاذة. Number one. Paint yellow, green and brown. Again. Paint, yellow, green, and brown. Where is the odd word? أين الكلمة الشاذة في هذه الكلمات الأربع? Paint يدهن, yellow, اللون الأصفر. Green, اللون الأخضر. Brown, اللون البني. So, here all of them are colors except for paint. Number two. Reuse, reduce. Pollution and recycle. Again, reuse, reduce, pollution and recycle. What is the odd word? Excellent, thank you very much. Here we have pollution. هذه أفعال عدا كلمة pollution وهي اسم. Number three, Gaza, Hebron, Nablus, Palestine. Again, Gaza, Hebron, Nablus, Palestine. What is the odd word? Excellent, it's Palestine. Why Palestine? Because these are cities, except for Palestine is a country. Number four, fork, dinner, spoon, and knife. Again, fork, dinner, spoon, and knife. Where is the odd word? Excellent, thank you very much. Here we have dinner. Here we have fork, shoka, spoon, milaka, knife, Sikkin. All of these are kitchen tools, except for dinner. So, dinner is the odd word. All right, dear residents, thank you very much for answering this exercise. And by the end of this exercise, we have come to the end of our lesson. So, I hope the lesson was beneficial and interesting for you. Have a good day and goodbye.